everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Jesse if you're new here sorry I'm starting all these vlogs in the car because it's honestly when I have <laughs> the most like time what babe yeah your headwig you got baby headwig she has like multiple Harry Potter owls because my baby shower with her was Harry Potter themed <laughs> she has like a normal size headwig and then she has two baby owls and she calls them baby Hedwig and it's just like the cutest thing ever to me. Oh Luna like yeah my sister-in-law and brother-in-law have a little I don't know like shih tzu thing and she has an underbite so Ivy goes Luna like this <laughs> but I got a cookie butter latte which looks like they didn't fully make it right but that's okay so much for like not getting coffee out this month you know so far, I've been fairly good with food, but coffee, not so much. It is a Thursday. I was gonna film just a night routine. Here's the thing. A night routine would probably do better metrics-wise on YouTube, but we don't really have a night routine. <laughs> like, we literally eat, Ben puts Ivy down, I clean the kitchen, then we watch TV. So I was like, it's kind of boring. So I'm just gonna do a full day in my life. If you're new here, I'm a mom of a 22 month old, which I always thought was hilarious when people would say that their kids are like 22 months old or 20 months old or whatever. But she's like, I get it now because I'm like, she's not a year and a half, but she's also not two. Like I'm not ready to say she's two. <laughs> For the most part, I've been saying she's almost two, but even that like breaks my heart a little bit. I have a 22 month old. <laughs> I am pregnant. I am currently almost 27 weeks pregnant. It's Thursday. I'll be 27 weeks on Saturday. I switch on Saturday. Almost a third trimester. Another week, which is crazy. I will say I'm already feeling the joys of third trimester. I got much bigger in this pregnancy much faster, like stomach wise. I feel like the rest of my body is okay, but like my stomach has gotten really big. I'm just, I'm already like slowing down getting a lot of aches and pains, not sleeping as well, all the fun parts of third trimester. But it is what it is, you know? It's still crazy to think that like I still have almost three months, like baby doesn't come, I'm due the beginning of February. I am going to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods today. Probably should just go to Whole Foods, but I'm gonna try to get a couple things at Trader Joe's so they're a little bit cheaper than they would be at Whole Foods, but I'm just like not liking the selection of produce at Mariano's, which is like the closest grocery store to me. For now, we drive to the good Old Faithful, which are like a little over 15 minutes from our house, especially because we have to take like this main road the whole way there basically. And then it's just a normal Thursday. It's just a mom day. I don't have any work to do. I do want to get ahead on some TikToks if possible. I don't really, like, I just need to do, like, mom stuff. I'll probably clean the upstairs today. I'll show you guys a grocery haul. We'll hang out with Ivy. It's a sunny today, but it's cool. Typical. It's better. The last couple days have been really rainy. It's been a weird week. The election was this week, so there was, like, there's stress and emotion <laughs> from that both prior and after and then I feel like I'm also really stressed about this OB situation I think in the last vlog like last Thursday I went to my OB office I had to like sign a bunch of paperwork to have my stuff transferred to another office just for that office to like accept me or not I called them on Tuesday and they still hadn't sent my information over and I was like what the heck so the lady that I talked to on the phone was like super nice and put like urgent on it. So they did it right away. So I know they sent it yesterday because they called me to ask me a couple questions. So now I'm hoping that I hear from the new OB office today. If I don't hear today. Yeah, I'll give you a hug when we get to Trader Joe's. We're almost there, two minutes. I'm just waiting for that. I am I mean, I don't know. I guess there actually is a chance that they won't accept me because this OB office only has one OB and I'm like, you know, almost 27 weeks pregnant now. So, and I'm a high risk case. So I'm sure she can only take a certain amount of high risk C-section cases. I'm hopeful that it works out and that I actually end up liking her because it's, just, it's gonna be like a whole lot of hoopla to go through if either of those things don't work. Cause I'll have to get like 
my records transferred to another place and all that stuff. I haven't taken my glucose test yet. There's just a lot of stuff going on with the OB. I'll feel a lot better when I feel like, A, I have an OB and B, I feel like I like my OB. I'm really bummed that I can't go with the OB that I originally found. I'm hoping I like this new one. My pelvic floor therapist recommended her, so I'm hopeful. We're at Trader Joe's. Let's go inside, see what they got. Officially leaving Whole Foods, it's just like impossible for me to film in those stores. I was gonna do it for TikTok and I'm like, who do I think I am? <laughs> I cannot, it's so funny to me. I. I'll show you guys a haul when I get home, but I was able, thankfully, to get most of our groceries from Trader Joe's. It was just like the specialty stuff that I got from uh, Whole Foods. I probably got less than half stuff at Whole Foods, and it was more than it was at Trader Joe's. Now we're headed home. I'm going to stop at, the, at Walgreens on the way home and pick up a prescription. Over a $200 trip, again. I think I just have to come to terms with the fact that our groceries are gonna be that right now. They were that kind of before, if not more, because of the farmer's market. It's just hard to justify spending that much money on food every week, but I mean, we go through it. I'm literally out of food at home right now. Like I ate the same thing for three meals in a row yesterday because that's all that I had. What happened here? Did you make a mess? Okay, back from the grocery store. Where's the light? There it is. I'm gonna show you guys a haul from Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. It was about $90 from Trader Joe's and over 100 from Whole Foods. Planning to make a bunch of stuff this week. Ben's making himself a soup. I'm making a chili tortilla soup, gluten-free gnocchi dish, lots of stuff, but we already have a lot of meat and stuff like that. So let me show you. So we got some chips corn dippers for the chili, two cans of chickpeas, two cans of black beans, two cans of tomato sauce, salsa for a recipe, bananas, Ivy's been loving bananas, celery, cause I didn't put it in my order last week, green bell peppers for a recipe, bunch of fruit, mushrooms, and then we got some more frozen peas and corn cause we need them for recipes and we just use a lot of them. Tomatoes, bone broth, these are for Ben. I really like this cereal, kimbap for Ben, some apples, garlic, avocado, onions, beef tamales, I like having these on hand for me, and some potatoes. So that's everything from Trader Joe's. And then from Whole Foods, <laughs> we got this thing of kidney beans for Ben. Some ground bison, I've been loving this for breakfast, like a little breakfast hash minus the egg. <laughs> Egg for Ben and Ivy, gluten-free waffles. We go through this stuff so fast. Plant-based butter, plant-based cheese, oat milk, almond milk creamer, bunch of Siggies for Ivy, cottage cheese, sour cream. Got some orange juice, cause Ivy and I really like this. Baked beans for a recipe, some of this before I run out. Have this for like a quick dinner for Ben and I this weekend. And then this is the last thing because I think Elizabeth is gonna come over, well, she comes over all the time, but <laughs> I think she's gonna come over next Friday and we're gonna try to do the like air fryer s'mores. So I wanted to get some gluten-free stuff for myself, but now we gotta put this all away. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I have the water running in the background, so please ignore, but I'm just eating like a taco bowl for lunch. Ivy, I think, is finally asleep. I am literally exhausted, which is why I'm going to stop doing Pilates, because as much as I love it, it like knocks me out the whole rest of the day. I need to film some TikToks, but honestly, I'm so exhausted right now that I might just nap. Got these cute shoes. I got them from a TikTok shop, but they're also on Amazon, so I'll link them. They're for like wide calf. Now I will say, until I opened this, 
<laughs> they were till still too slim for my wide calf. Like I have very wide calf feet, even when I'm like smaller, but it's like this really fuzzy, can you tell? Really fuzzy inside and they're actually very, very nice. So I think I'm gonna keep them. I really like those, so I got them. I'll link them from Amazon down below if you're interested. We also got some toilet paper from Who Gives a Crap. She wants to play with the box right now, so. I think I'm gonna make myself some tuna like salad to eat. I have like nothing else prepped because every, all of my meat is still defrosting. I also have really bad heartburn from my lunch, so. Let's see if this helps, I guess. <laughs> I don't eat tuna very often. I think this is the second time I've had it in like a year. <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting something. Don't? Are you sure? Don't push it. We're having a little lesson for me of we're just using the decorations that we have now i will say i did buy a couple of things i bought that gingerbread man and that reindeer i got some magnets for ivy that i can show you in a minute but i'm not gonna buy anything else because really all i care about is the tree i don't even think i'm gonna put ornaments up this year because she's just gonna tear them down and the tree is beautiful i might get like a christmas blanket but honestly my green blanket looks just fine i mean we're pretty much only gonna decorate down here there's a couple like kid things up there we might move some of this stuff just because otherwise abby's gonna be in it all the time here's my unesthetic christmas tour so i'm in love with this gingerbread guy he was like 15 dollars on tiktok shop i got that at home goods this is just a Target random thing that Ivy wanted. <laughs> I've had these for a couple years. I think they're from Amazon. I had them in there, but she's already taken them out. Yeah, I got my little ambiance going, all my gnomes, because apparently gingerbread men and gnomes are what I'm obsessed with. These are the things that I might move just because she'll keep playing with it. Obviously, my tree, this was an expensive tree. I can link it down below because... They might still have it. Yeah, as you can see, she's changing the lights now. Oh, you're gonna give people a headache. I can do like different things with the lights, different colors, and it's from Home Depot. I'm obsessed with this tree. Like, I love it so much. Hi, Finn Finn. <laughs> we have our little stockings. I would like to get some like cutesy, you know, like 90s, 2000s ones that are like crocheted. Like, like I have one growing up that like my grandma or somebody made for me. I would like to get those, but I'm gonna wait until we have this baby so I can just buy them all next year sometime so we know names and stuff like that. Some lights that Ben can put up somewhere. He'll put lights up outside the house at some point, probably not for a couple weeks because he thinks I'm crazy. We got this little like felt board for Ivy to use. So I did buy that, but again, it was like $15 or $10 or something. And then I got these stickers for Ivy too. That is it. That is our little Christmas tour. You know what? It is what it is. We don't own this home. I don't want to buy a bunch of stuff for a house that we don't own. I will say now too that I have kids. <laughs> I want Christmas to be like cuter. I love all of the things that I have and I want to just like continue to accumulate things that mean something. Like I was telling Ben last night, Christmas is like the best time of my life growing up. My family didn't fight. We all like got along. We did like traditions every single year. Ben and I don't fight, thankfully, <laughs> but I do want to keep up with like the traditions. I just think, you know, when I think about stuff growing up with Christmas, I can like smell how our 
air doctors irritated with all the dust. I can like smell the way that our Christmas pillows smelled. I remember all the cool cutesy ornaments we had, all that kind of stuff. And I just want that for Ivy. But we don't own this home and we'll have to move at least one more time. So I don't want to buy a bunch of stuff. Look at! I did more than just the tree. <laughs> That's the only thing I could see. Okay, Ivy's down for her nap. It's 1.15. I just finished filming a couple of TikTok videos that I need to edit, but I needed to get them filmed while it was still light out because that's been my issue the last few days. I actually bought a light <laughs> so that I can start filming since it's going to be dark for three quarters of the day now. That's what it feels like at least. I am, yeah, just like chilling out downstairs. This afternoon I need to like clean a little bit. The kitchen is like destroyed right now because Ben made something over lunch. Gotta figure that out. I think I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos honestly and chill for a little bit and then when my phone, <laughs> my phone is like dead. Uh, I think it had 2% battery so I can't edit anything or whatever so I'm gonna leave that over there for now. Just chill for a little bit. Maybe look at my computer a little bit and then I'll take you guys through the afternoon once Ivy's up from her nap. Don't mind the water filter in the back. We, is that Hedwig? Hedwig show? Yeah, don't get any stuff on Hedwig. As soon as Ivy woke up, we came down. I went to make her a smoothie and I knocked one of my brand new glasses that I got from Target that I like loved off of the counter and it shattered everywhere. So I went outside with Ivy while Ben cleaned that up for me, which was very nice of him. We're, we just finished our snack and it's almost four now. Looks like we got a baby list registry gift from my cousin and my aunt. I know they sent something else, but it was through a different company, so it'll be coming soon, but I already bought the Snuggle Me lounger again. Honestly, we should have just kept our old one, but it was gross because we didn't get a cover with that one and you, you couldn't wash it besides spot cleaning. Oh, I got a different one this time off of Facebook Marketplace that had never been used, so I got a cover this time. So that, sorry. <laughs> so that hopefully if the baby like pukes or pees or spits up or whatever we can just clean that versus having you know a gross snuggle me lounger because we used that a lot with ivy like ivy loved that until she outgrew it we had a smoothie and a pbj bar that was good ivy's still drinking her smoothie I smoothie. yeah you already ate it <laughs> yeah mama's is all gone i just rinsed it that's why the water is weird colored like that you like mama's shirt? I think we might go downstairs and like color. Do you want to color? I want to color. You want to color? Okay. I want to color. Color, mama. You want to color? Okay. Do you want to bring Hedwig? Okay. Do you, are your hands clean? Also, right before her nap, I like almost shut her fingers fully yeah. in the front door, which was not a good time. Okay, I'm gonna end off this video showing you a random Costco haul. We actually went today on a Saturday because we were going to try to buy a rug for in here, but they didn't have any we liked. So we just picked up our monthly Costco trip early. So this is what we got. Some orange juice, coconut milk, chickpeas. I wanna try these, so we got these. Frozen berries for Ben, uh, peanut butter, these are for Ben, these are also for Ben, Ivy's refrigerated packets, we got some more salsa, I'm gonna try this butternut squash pasta salad, some ramen, popcorn, crackers, this curry thing for Ben, he got this cool bear's hat, vegetable broth, there's almond milk under there. We got some filters and then we got this pretty holiday throw for the couch. So that's everything we got. Ben's putting Ivy down. She's had a rough morning. I'm exhausted 
and I need to eat. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.